Hi guys, JB Carn Toys Dude here, and this is the very first modification video I've done for a G.I. Joe figure. This is the G.I. Joe Steel Brigade from the Pseudo Cobra series. So this is what it looks like before unboxed. The this is wearing black, but the same color as the rocket launcher skin. So you may wonder why they did modification. That's because it was loose legged. It means it gets floppy and is having a hard time standing still and balancing it. So I tried unscrewing it, but bad news, the screw got stripped. You can see it's all shredded and terribly, hideously goner. And I'm worried that there's no point. So, what I did, I used this harness out of a Pursuit of Cobra Snake Eyes that I came with a Timberwolf. So I had to remove the harness out of him and put it on Steel Brigade to make it stand still, which worked out very well. As you can see there, it tries testing out the harness, it does pull back in and stand still. It doesn't make it fall, fall at all. I lost the kneecap, or I'm sorry, kneecap, knee shin guards, whatever it's called. But the thing is, I tried buckling it together, but it won't buckle because it was too big, or too small, if I say. This is his gun for now on. This gun is an M4A1. If you recognize it from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and 3, this is what he uses in, this, in the figure line along with a knife on the gun. He does fit quite well on a vehicle, but not so well, to be honest with you. So, this is the best modification I've ever done for a G.I. Joe. Hope you guys like it, like, subscribe, and thank you.